All right, guys, quick video just on GoPros again. Um, I've upgraded mine, but here's a few tips on GoPros and audio, especially in the aircraft. This is how I did it. All right, guys, I'll be the first to admit some of my videos are a bit rough around the edges. Um, you know, got to learn all this stuff as you go. Um, I started with the GoPro 3s. No apologies, just trying to learn myself and um, get a better for you guys, I guess, a better viewing experience. So like I said, I started with these little GoPro 3s. Uh, you got a Hero 3 and a Hero 3 Plus. You can get these for under 100 bucks now on eBay, but I bought these new, you know, when the time was right. Um, had those initially, the old DJI Phantom, um, when I had a drone business, um, they used to hang, hang under the drone on a gimbal, obviously. So I started with those, and then you purchase from, a, from your local um, pilot shop. This goes into your, you, you pull that out from where your headset goes in, plug that in, and then your headset then plugs into this one. This extra one, um, I think it's like a HDMI. Um, that's the other confusing thing with all these different mini USB, USB-C, mini HDMI, you get lost in all these all the terminology, I guess, but you gotta learn. That's for an external battery for your GoPro, if required. That's what the sticker says. And then I've actually wrecked this cable in my process here, but that was, um, that used to plug in to the side of the GoPro, nice and easy. So you can see how that works. It just wires into your headset. And then you get audio in the cockpit. So, what I, then I, Upgraded, jumped leaps and bounds, 2022 rang up and said buy a GoPro 9. So I bought that, which has got the front screen on it. I'll get to the hatch in a minute. Um, front screen, rear screen, you can really see, I'll turn it on, see what, see what goes on here. You can actually, you know, you can see what you're filming, front and back. So it worked out really well. Um, you know, get a GoPro 9. The other choice was a GoPro 10. That's fine. So the first problem I had, it comes with this door. So the GoPro Hero 9 comes with the door, obviously, to hold the battery in. And now this is waterproof as it comes, which is pretty cool if you ever land in the water. Um, as you can tell, there's nowhere else to plug things in. So initially, with my old lead, hence the damage, I, was, I removed, removed the hatch. Removed the hatch, I made up a lead to plug in to the, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, USB-C port on the GoPro. Next problem was how do I stop the battery coming out? Well little bit of plasticine or um, Lutac solved that issue. I then shopped around on eBay and purchased a cheap door for $6. Solved my issue. I'm trying to film and do this. Holds the battery in and then you can plug it in. Fantastic. Then nothing worked. So when you first get the GoPro 9, you plug it in, if you go into, for those that have a GoPro 9, if you go into, try and get the camera right, um, preferences, and scroll down to mods, Insta, trying to do this through the camera, mods you can see hopefully na is ghosted out now what's meant to come up there is your types of mi a microphone now when i first um first purchased the gopro the um it would recognize me plugging something into that let's call it usb-c port um, and it would give me choices of powered microphone, 
normal microphone um, and link, I think it is, for like an electric guitar or something like that. Being a powered both, both headset, I had to play around with it. So I recognised it. Then when you link it to your phone through the Quick app, first thing it does is, you know, do all your updates. So update it to version 1.7 and Google, sorry, GoPro, have taken away that function. So my new lead, which I purchased, um, which is in the aircraft, this guy here. So this is a Nightfly technology, Nightfly audio and power solution for GoPro Hero 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 black. Now that comes the same lead. Um, it's actually installed in the aircraft at the moment. With a GoPro, you know, I don't buy the cheap stuff. Um, obviously I did for the door. You know, $6 door didn't seem to be a problem. But the stuff for the audio, this has actually got, um, it's got GoPro sort of engraved or etched on there. Um, you get this link, which is in the picture there, which goes in on the cable, all right, which is an adapter. So I got the new cable for about $200, believe it or not. Plug this into the GoPro. And what do you know? It still doesn't recognise it. So what do you do? Um, this is just a 3D part that clips all that together and keeps your, keeps your lead nice and neat. The other thing too, this becomes pretty bulky. If that's plugged in there, um, this is just dangling down. You have to Velcro it to the aircraft or something. So the next step, did my research on YouTube, which I should have done first. Um, so, thinking I couldn't really go wrong, but you have to buy a media mod for the GoPro 9 for $130. See where I'm going with all this? Now, this rocked up today. So, I'll put this together and get back to you. All right, so the case, the GoPro slips in without the, take the battery cover off. GoPro slips in, and now you've got this case with a microphone, and that just that can pop off like a what do they call it? A dead cat or whatever, a wind protector. Um, and it slides in and plugs in. So GoPro in their wisdom have, if we now go back to that mods one, um, mods. Now if you have a look, standard mic is greyed out. So when you, it's now available. When you plug it in, you get all your choices and it comes alive with this extra box on there. Also, I know that the microphone's working because if I go back here uh, to a normal screen, now down the bottom, you can see my voice. One, two, three, so the microphone's working and listening all the time. That's this microphone out the front here. So there you go. All right, guys, there you go. So I'm not a tech head. I said tech. Um, but I think I've sorted it out now with the GoPro Hero 9. And I spent quite a bit of money mucking around with this um, just to get audio to work properly. However, in... Um, what do you call it, post-production, a real YouTuber now, uh, doing my editing, trying to line up the audio with the sound is terrible. So, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment as far as recording goes in the cruiser. We'll go for some flights. Um, hopefully that all works out. So if that helps someone out, either with a GoPro, you know, if it works the same for motorbike helmets and things like that, um, the next setting I guess I've got to look at is... There's a wind setting in there, auto wind reduction or on and off, etc. But we'll play with that and go for the next fly. Thanks for watching.